Hola chicas! Welcome to Encuentras Your Voice Podcast, the vocal piece of Encuentras Media, to bring you all the hits and highlights of what is happening in the world of all things Latina. I'm your host, Consuelo Crosby, peruana, structural engineer, mother, and Scorpio Energy Latina, ready to hold the mic for you to share your valuable story of living in your authenticity and the success that it brings you. Join our sassy guests as they proudly share how it started, how it's going, and where they are headed to support and encourage the comunidad to amazing success. Your voice is powerful, and it's time we kick it up to maximum volume for everybody to hear. You want representation, then you have come to the perfect comfort zone. Relax into this and feel a major part of something big, bold, and beautiful. Coming to you every Wednesday, 5 p.m. California time, but available to you anywhere in the world because our Latinidad is global. Love having you here, so sit back now and join the fun. Hola, chicas. Always a joy to have you here each week and hoping your March is starting off exactly as you need it to be. And with that, happy Women's History Month. I'm your host, Consuelo Crosby, welcoming you every Wednesday with amazing mujeres who define today's cultura through journeys of self-discovery and the success that follows, helping each of us find our true path. Here we are making history every day by creating our narrative as a comunidad in our own words, in our own time, not leaving it up to chance for our history to be told. Seriously, cannot believe we are at daylight savings time again this weekend. So y'all better prep for losing an hour of that precious sleep. Up your cafecito game a bit because next week's dynamic duo who are absolutely eating it up in film festival awards right now for their short film, Tita, will be joining us for their full-length episode. Now, we'll get more into that at the end of this Pod Club episode, which pulls the gems from last week, the full-length episode of Jessica Bejarano, founder of the San Francisco Philharmonic. Our full-length shows give our amazing Latina guests the time to fully describe themselves, their story, their journey, because it's so important to us here. And we want to emphasize this to all of you, that who you are is so much grander, more spectacular, and unstoppable than anything that you do. So our full-length episodes try to give you justice, respect for what you've gone through to remain your authentic self. Even if what you do is literally shattering a 200-year-old tradition and rebuilding an entirely new one for all of us who felt left out of those spaces. Jessica Bejarano literally was so fed up with being only allowed into the traditional symphony spaces that she decided to make her own, where everyone was welcome and, most importantly, Everyone was seen. It took San Francisco 100 years to host a female composer's work at the symphony. But it only took one plane ride for Jessica to create an entirely new one for all of us. Now, if you haven't listened to her heart-wrenching but celebratory episode, no worries. This one stands alone and will inspire you to find out more about this amazing woman. You can also watch the full-length episode in shorts on our YouTube channel at Encuentras Your Voice, with full captions and links to all her favorite places that she gave shout-outs to, and which are also on the show notes of last week's episode. So give them a little love, show some gratitude for supporting this amazing woman. So let's dive in. I'd really love to know, and you could give some comments on our social media, 
give me some DMs, send it our way. But I'd love to know which of Jessica's experiences just spoke to you, made you feel seen, or maybe gave you some insights to how to maneuver through a similar experience that you're going through right now. Was it her determination to follow what she loved, even though she had only discovered it at 18 years old? Or maybe her ability to break cycles within her family, go to college and earn her master's. Now, I know that one's resonating with a lot of you. Or her positivity that helped her overcome the toxic bias against her and ultimately reach her dream. Okay, we're picking up speed, right? We're gathering the comunidad. Or her willingness to push beyond her dream and do the heavy lifting for all of us so that we can join in on it. Mm hmm. Do all those points hit home? Bet you they do. She is a queen. Unbelievable. And so are all of you for believing so strongly in yourself, even if doubt creeps in sometimes, to rise above and make the world you see as your own. Now, because. Come Wednesday, we all need a dose of positivity and hope. Let's listen to Jessica's words of encouragement that may help you get beyond any struggles you may be facing right now. And I remember just staring at the wall and thinking, if this is how academia is going to treat me, where in academia, they're supposed to embrace you and nurture you and prepare you and educate you for the real world. If this is how academia is treating me, what is the real world going to treat me like? Like, do I really not belong? Like, should I just give up? Like, this is too hard. This is too abusive. This is, this is, uh, this is stressful. Painful. Yeah. So for a split second, I said, I give up. But then it, there was a voice in me that said, no, 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 no. Do not let anyone take away your past, your dreams you know, your passion, your goals, they're yours. And so I had to learn in that moment, you know, how to take a no and turn it into a yes, how to take a negative and turn it into a positive, how to use negative energy and use it to catapult me even further than I thought I could go. And so I learned resilience. I learned how to be incredibly resilient um, in the face of adversity these situations that sometimes are, you know, negative, horrific, horrible, there is a way to find a silver lining in the experience and how to use that experience to make you a stronger person. It made me hungry for, mm. for this career, um, not just for the love of music, but now for mm -hmm. the sake of representation. Yeah. You know, so it's not just about becoming a, a, a conductor and bringing the music alive. Yes, very, very important. But now there's something else that's in the mix. And the, the, it's representation for me to stand strong on the podium in the concert hall, whether it's the symphony, the ballet and the opera and represent not only for future conductors, um, but for audience members as well, for musicians on the stage, for patrons, for board members, you know. And so my work has become bigger than I ever thought it was. Now I know this experience is heart-wrenching to listen to, and I left out the most painful component of this scenario, which you can find in the full-length episode, to really give it that ugh, impact. But the beauty of what Jessica offers to us is reminding us to find the silver lining in all experiences, even those that are hard, and stressful and hurtful, find the silver lining that will move you forward, even a little bit, because each step forward brings you closer to something so much better than what you're leaving behind. It's that faith in yourself. It's that faith that the universe has something bigger in mind for you that you won't discover in the place you've already been. Because if it were meant to be there, it would have happened. 
For Jessica, it was developing her resilience to persevere towards not only her passionate goal, but something much bigger, beyond her dreams. And if that harsh experience, that painful retching experience that drove her out of that classroom had not happened, then perhaps she would have been content to be, as she says, allowed into traditional spaces. Not accepted, but at least she would be happy creating music, which was ultimately fulfilling her dream. Instead, she shattered the elite space of orchestral symphonies, literally created her own that she then gifted to all of us, determined to never let anyone feel like she did in that horrible moment. A genius, a saint, a girl from East L.A., a first-gen, a queer Latina, tatted, and everyone's friend. She's all the pieces of all of you. And she's here to encourage you to be your authentic self, to love who you are and stand strong. This world may not be perfect, but you can carve your own piece of positivity out that can move you into places you never saw coming. Thank you for all the enthusiastic comments and support you showed Jessica on our social media and to us directly. If you've been following our Instagram, you know I had the insane opportunity to conduct a portion of the symphony on Saturday night. And let me tell you, it felt like I was the goddess in full creation mode. I get it. I sense the power. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity, a memory that I will keep forever and seriously the most astounding thing I've ever done. And that's saying something because it's even more astounding than climbing glaciers in Patagonia. And if it weren't for women like Jessica Bejarano, we would never have these golden opportunities that change our life. It's more than representation. It's more than diversity. It's having a chair offered to us and sitting at a major table of disruptors, game changers, thought leaders that are making this world a more welcoming and loving place. All because we choose to support women who are, yes, breaking barriers, but more so building a whole new world for us. There's so many reasons to listen or maybe even re-listen to last week's episode with Jessica Bejarano, the woman who makes us feel that orchestral music and the traditional symphony concert halls are meant for all of us. Join us next week for the full-length episode of that dynamic duo, Latino filmmakers and co-founders of Calvalana Alchemy Production Studio. Miguel Antonio Caballero and Luis Antonio Aldano, who have been winning it big time with their short film, The Ballad of Tita and the Machines. I absolutely loved this movie, and I'm sending out all the manifestations to have it distributed soon so all of us can watch it. You're going to love it. Now you can hear more about the film and the journey these two amazing Latinos made to get to the big screen next week. So get your rest this weekend and make sure to subscribe to the podcast on your favorite streaming platform so you don't miss them. Step into your truth, ladies. Ciao. Be sure to follow and subscribe to the Encuentros Your Voice podcast so you don't miss a single episode. They will automatically drop into your listening device each week. And we'd really, really appreciate if you take a moment to add to the reviews that we already have. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you're hoping to hear. And we will get there. Share this with your friends and family to help us grow our comunidad. And keep following us on our social media. Who encuentras your voice 
We are so grateful to you for helping us grow this community and would love to learn of all the amazing Latinas who you know are creating the world we thrive in. So reach out to me on social media at Encuentros Your Voice and let's keep leaning into our authenticity in pride. Help us make Encuentros Your Voice the place where you are 100% represented. 